First, start by locating your PDF in your Google Drive. Then what you'll want to do is download it. Click on the little down arrow to download it to your device. This step will be necessary. So I'm going to click on Save. You could rename it at this point as well. And then Show in Folder. Open it from your Downloads. And then from here, what you can notice is that you could rotate it text. So that's like typing text. And then as well as an regular annotation with a uh, drawing feature. So I'm going to click that open and you have some different pens. You have a pen, a highlighter, and then I'm going to select here for the highlighter and choose this yellow color. And then you can see how I can just click onto the text that you'd like to highlight and notice how it's going in a pretty straight line. That's what I like about this editor. And then maybe you'd actually like to switch over if some students are filling out um, answer and you'd like to use text. So this is typing. So click to add a text box. Again, you can change the color of your text. You can also use uh, Dictation to do that. So if Dictation is enabled on your Chromebook, you can go ahead and use that feature as well. So I'm going to click on this annotation feature. And then this time, I'm going to use the pen and just choose the color of black. And then you can see how you can write right on top. So this would be great for just adding a signature to the bottom of a document, for example. Uh, lots of great things. And then what you can do is you can hit save and it will save your annotations or you could click save as if you wanted to change the name. So I'm just going to open up my Google Drive because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new file upload to put it into my Google Drive. So I'm going to select the new annotated file and then you can put it back into your Google Drive. You do get a pop-up, so if you did leave it at the same name, it will ask you if you want to replace this existing file or keep both files. So that would be up to you if you wanted to keep one blank and one with the annotations. And then when you're ready, you can click on Upload, and then it's saved into your Google Drive. Thanks for listening.